There's two music stories in the news today. One is a rather sad story about John Elliot Gardner, who had been uh, conducting a piece of music for the Berlioz Festival, and a young uh, singer, William Thomas, apparently left the podium in the wrong direction, and Elliot Gardner punched him. Well, that means he's uh, avoiding other festivals and avoiding any public appearances, which is probably the right thing to do at this moment. But it is a rather shocking story. In the meantime, a slightly better story, where no no punches were actually thrown, is a story about um, a young lad who threatened, uh, carrying a machete, who threatened Ali Jones, uh, the fellow who sang Walking on the Air, uh, he didn't sing it for the film, of course, he didn't sing it for the for the Snowman film, but he did make his name with a sort of cover version of the song, and rather brilliantly too. And uh, now I think he presents songs of praise. And he, he was wearing a Rolex, and... Uh, the, the 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 youth demanded the Rolex or to cut off his hand, which is rather shocking. He was with his son Lucas, and uh, Alan Jones wisely took off the seventeen thousand pound Rolex and gave it to the lad, who was subsequently tracked down, has appeared in court. I think he's pleaded guilty, and Alan Jones and his son, his son, I think, identified him in some sort of video parade. Alan couldn't. Um, and uh, I don't know whether he's got the watch back. I hope he has. Uh, but 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 really, the 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 issue is that uh, that is the right approach. I think if somebody demands your watch, you you I don't wear a watch. I've not worn a watch in years. I just find the things irritating. And uh, but I I think um, yeah, I think if somebody approached me with a machete and asked me for something, I would give it to them. But I'm afraid. <laughs> they'd probably chop off my hands because they wouldn't believe I don't have a watch. Um, I certainly don't have a Rolex. Anyway, there we are. Poor Sir John Elliot Gardner. A great, uh, a great performer, a great conductor, brought low by stupidity.